Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver, and it's time to begin work on clearing Goldenrod of Team Rocket. I suppose this is going to take a lot longer than I would like, because we're going to have to fight probably about three episodes worth of stuff here. At least based on the usual links I set these episodes at. One for climbing this tower, one for clearing out the basement, and then we'll do a final short episode doing the final part of this tower once we get the um, pass key. Which means mostly the executives will get their own episode, because pretty much all the ones in here are grunts or scientists. And yeah, I picked up a new friend. Frigid, a magic... not a magic carp, a magmar, jeez. You know, Lear's completely useless to me here, I should've just went with Fire Punch. Or got an experience share. Um, we'll go with Susie for now. Just flamethrower. Rest of the way through here. Or I'll put Flame on up front, to be honest. We'll save the levels on the rest for later. I want to try and have Flame on ready for confronting Claire, since my main strategy is probably going to focus on getting Flame on ready. It's going to be a nasty matchup. Almost all of Claire's Pokemon use Surf. In fact, I think all of them do. I know her Kingdra knows it. I know at least one of the Dragonair knows it. She's going to have to be a pain in my butt. And a lot of the trainers in that gym also know water moves. It's not going to be a fun matchup, to say the least. Thankfully, we can bypass some of these grunts and stuff. So we can hopefully get this episode a bit shorter. But I guess the real challenge will come at the start of the next episode, because we'll have to take on our rival once again. That might be a better time to whip out the rookie, since I can take type advantage on some of them. Or at least that's my best guess, I think. I want to give it some decent experience. Well, we got here. No, uh, just just leave Susie up front for now. I guess. Uh, not even Golbats at this stage. I mean, I know my Susie is a Volpix, but that's because I don't have access to a Firestone. Otherwise, I'd seriously consider evolving at this point. Yeah, Team Rocket was forced to retreat, and now they're trying to make a comeback, but... I don't think you're gonna have much luck if you're going up against me. Apparently, the... Vent, the... Bane of for Team Rocket is, um, Snot-Nosed Brats. It's also a bit disappointing that all these Pokémon are, like, level 20-something. Like, I wish the game was ramping things up a bit faster. Instead, the game seems to be going at a very slow pace, so you can skip as many turns as possible without really being punished for it. Just a really odd decision, in my opinion. Ah, trying to go with Minimize, huh? Won't work. I got pretty good accuracy. I don't like Double Team. You can't use Minimize more than once, really. Um, dig. Ha! Darn it. Oh, and burned. More poison gas, eh? Uh, whatever. I don't know. I was just hoping for some better opponents at this point. Pretty sure he's not a member, so we can try and sneak around a good chunk of him here. Come on, one more step. I was hoping she'd move one step further over so that he'd be blocked, but no luck. 
Well, to take on at least two people here, I guess. Well, this is not a Team Rocket grunt, but at the same time, these scientists tend to use, like, Magnemite and stuff, so they're very easy to just blow away with Flamethrower or Dig. Give him some credit, at least he's got higher levels on his Pokemon than the last couple. Oh, that's right, I don't have Bridget still in combat ready state right now. I really shouldn't have led with her. Hmm. Yeah, it probably would have been better off if I had gone back to Mr. Pokemon's house and got the experience share from trading off the red scale. That's how you get it, anyway. Then again, I have to split experience. Hmm. Okay. You've been given strict orders, eh? Well, tell me, what's the punishment for failure? Because there's no way you can beat me. I'm a master tactician, I'm just saying. And your Pokemon are so much weaker than mine, they're just completely beneath my notice. You're just feeding my levels at this point. Ah, Harden. But Harden's pretty useless when you got like one HP. Okay, what's next? Ah, joy, another Zubat. I mean, is there something wrong with using up all Pokemon? I guess if there's a game where you can get by with doing a no evolution challenge, it might be gold, silver, and crystal. Because you don't see that many of all Pokemon to like the very, very end. Um, just burn it. What do you think of that? Huh, rat? Rat burgers for everyone. Yeah, yeah, what? How can you be so surprised? You're not that strong. What can I say? Hmm. Yeah, I figured. Most excellent. We'll fulfill our grand design. Of forcing Pokemon to evolve and selling them for profit. I suppose. Rich. It's got fancy Pokemon there, though. Can I take a hit from my flamethrower, though? Nope, crit. Well, at least I haven't had that much luck with crits this episode, because last episode was just sort of getting crazy. You, you came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong. I'm an imposter. I pretend to be the real thing to prepare for your t for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. That's pretty cocky of you. I'm not trying to be mean here, but... I don't think you're going to be able to beat me. Not with a bunch of coughings. That's pretty much all he has, too, is, like, coughing. And more coughing. Like... Get some variety, man! Variety! Makes life more interesting when you use more than one Pokémon. Uh, I guess I don't get much choice here. If I don't use Flamethrower, I can't, like, one-shot him. How sad. Okay. I went up, I went down. Ah, it survived, huh? Just barely. Take this. 
Head smash! Well, finally, something that isn't a coughing! That's just merely an evolved version of it. Okay, you're up, Susie. Yeah, give it confusion. And then burn it. Burn the smoky Pokemon. Wow. That was some good luck there, Susie. Don't see that too often from you. Okay, come on, let's see it. Susie seems to have slightly lower special attack stats here. At least it feels that way. <laughs> I'm saying she seems to do a bit less damage. Well, critical hit. It's all good. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. You stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. Well, I wouldn't have if you didn't give me the key. But whatever. Next time, we'll be heading to the underground warehouse. Until then, see ya.